More bones and scales. Fun, fun. Ooh. So these bones and scales are getting kind of heavy, but we do have over 5,000 gold, so let's go buy ourselves a house. I hear it's a buyer's market. I serve Jarl Balgrim. Splendid. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Here it is, right by the gate. Fandil invited himself over. We can store our items here, and they won't despawn, supposedly. So let us toss our bones and scales into this chest. You lead, I'll follow. You're welcome, Fandel. You can finally stop carrying those around. Let's grab some rest. Remember that skill increase speed bonus for resting? It's even bigger if you sleep in a bed that you own. Alright, let's hit the road. The Greybeards wanted Jurgen Windcaller's horn. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Wimkal. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da. Which means push. Da. all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Where are we going? Um, are we gonna do this? Oh, this guy. Hurry it up, Slowpoke. Tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Wind, guide you. We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar before he became 
the Emperor Tiber Septim. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath, we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kine, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, the dragon of the north. Hearken to it. Back to Riverwood. Is is the quest marker the what rug? I have a plan. Oh, there. Huh. Doesn't seem to care about closing the door this time. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. So that's your plan, huh? Even if you could survive, by the time you got inside, whatever documents they had would be long gone. We're there for information, remember? Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. My way is better. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellenwyn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? It sounds good. Be careful. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already... Those driver tidbits always get cut off. Weird. You need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart, Vivian. Not right now. You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torin. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Ooh. Huh. Deja vu. Alright. Act natural, Fandle. This guy is probably right, not getting saved by a dragon. Oh. Ow. 